Hey guys, what's up? If you don't know, I'm an idiot. So in today's video, I'm going to be building a Tesla compute server. Yep, that's, that's it. I just thought it would be kind of interesting for you guys to see how I build my servers and that I'm building a server because that's kind of cool. So let's get right into it. Right here, we've got my, oh God, oh, what's, could have been bad. We've got my Asus ESC 4000 G2. This is a bit of an older server rocking two Xeon E5 2640 V2s. Those are eight core 16 thread CPUs for a total of 16 cores and 32 threads of, well, pretty old CPU performance. We've got 16 gigabytes of ECC registered DDR3. It had 128, but I downgraded because we simply didn't need it. And it has support for up to eight single slot, or for that matter, four dual slot graphics cards. All right, so we have a couple of pretty awesome GPUs to put in this server today. Starting with our dual slot, Tesla M40s. Now the Tesla M40 comes in two variants, the 12 gig, which is what I have here today, and the 24 gigabyte. For the potential use case of this server, I won't be needing the 24 gigabyte model, but it's nice to know that they exist. Now, if you have no idea what a Tesla M40 is, well, I quite frankly wouldn't blame you. Cause the Nvidia Tesla line is kind of not very well documented in the consumer space because it's not meant for consumers. I've just decided that I want them because, um, get wrecked Nvidia, I'm gonna use your Teslas for gaming and you can't stop me. That'll be a follow-up, so stay tuned for that. But to put it simply, these are literally the same GPU as the Nvidia GTX GeForce Titan, fuck me. But to put it in simple terms, these Tesla M40s are basically the server version of a GTX Titan X the Maxwell Titan X, not the Pascal Titan X or the XP Pascal Titan X. They have the same 12 gigabytes, oh. They have the same 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM as the Titan X and all of the same GPU features, just a slightly higher clock speed and slightly lower memory speed. Now, what's special about my Tesla M40s is that all of these are BIOS modded, meaning that they run faster and better and are better for gaming and other compute applications than a normal Tesla M40 and even a Titan X. I think I did a pretty good job on those. Now, that's gonna be three of our GPUs. For our fourth card, we actually have one of these. Yes, I know the size difference is astronomical. This is a Tesla P4 and it is friggin' adorable. And to put it in the same terms that I put the Tesla M40, this is a GTX 1080. Same GP104 that's in the 1080, obviously with a lot less power because no external power, tiny size, whole copper heatsink. But effectively speaking, the GPU on this tiny card is a consumer 1080, but it has been, well, obviously tuned differently for compute applications. This is what Nvidia refers to as a compute accelerator. And I don't really know what it does, but I got one and it's for today's build. Now, it would have been more ideal if I either had eight of these to fit in here or, or two of these to cover the final two slots we have free after these three Tesla M40s, but uh, I don't have that many of these, so just one today and then I'll be blocking off the final PCIe slot with a simple cover so that the airflow isn't lost. Because if you don't know, you need this nice freaking server airflow blowing through the cards in order to keep them cool enough to, well, exist. So, with all that out of the way, let's get right into this build. So, the ESC 4000 G2 has a couple of very fun tricks up its sleeve, such as these. These are the PCI Express risers, and they go from two 16Xs to four PCIe 16Xs, and this makes assembly super simple. You basically take one of your cards, just like this, and you just literally mount it like that and you screw it into these risers and shove them back in the case and i somehow already fucked it up so we're gonna do that real quick so we've got one this is just such a sick way of getting four full height gpus into a 2u chassis that's how big this server chassis is we got a 2u going here instead of having to use a 4u chassis and mount them the normal way perpendicular to the motherboard so to speak and there we have it we're gonna want to get now each one of these Tesla M40s actually has a single 8-pin, but do not be confused. This is not an 8-pin PCI Express power connector. This is an 8-pin 
EPS connector, like the one for CPUs. So you use this simple adapter that comes with all these kinds of cards from NVIDIA, and it goes from one 8-pin EPS to two pin eight to two eight-pin PCI Express, and we're A-OK. -okay. This case actually has four dual eight-pin daisy chains, so there's plenty of power, and those are powered by, if I can get one out here, dual 1650 watt. 80 plus platinum redundant power supplies, which can actually run in either redundant or combined mode, so there's always plenty of power for our server. These things are uh, kind of freaking awesome, and they definitely need to be because this server at full tilt, which it will be at consistently, can draw upwards of a kilowatt. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right, getting this in and powered with two GPUs is a bit of a complicated process. So I want to connect our power cables first. And then we just try our best to shove these now much heavier risers into the provided guides and shove our power cords back in there. Try not to get them in these fans. These fans spin at a couple thousand RPM and are very loud. So we don't want cables getting in them because they will get immediately shredded just like anyone's finger. And there we go. Two GPUs successfully installed. Let's move on to the other two, which will actually be slightly easier. I have just realized I may have done this the stupid way. And then I'm going to put my P4 in the top slot like so. And then, huh, no. As long as enough airflow gets through our cards, generally speaking, it should be completely fine. I do wish I had the proper bracket for it, but it's actually like really hard to find one that's not from China and where the shipping times wouldn't take a month and a half. So fortunately I'll just have to stick with my half-assed hanging card for now. But honestly, this should be a button. But if I'm being honest, this server should be fine. Now for our boot drive, for our boot drive here, we have one of these. Nice hot swap bay in the front with an SSD in it. Simple 120 gig inland professional drive. Obviously I would use a better one if this was going to a client. But uh, now it will be being upgraded with something else later because although it does say professional, I can assure you inland is not professional. Have I not been in focus this whole time? Now it's gonna be running Windows 10 Pro and not Windows Server or anything, just because it's only got two CPUs and Windows 10 Pro can recognize up to two CPUs in a system, so should be absolutely fine. Now, I would boot test this thing right here, but uh, I don't have a VGA monitor here. It actually is going to a different place right now, so, but this is gonna be the end of the video. I just thought it'd be pretty cool to see me building a server and to show you guys how I built one of my personal Tesla computer servers, although I don't know how long it will remain mine. Anything can happen. So, hope you guys kind of enjoyed. Hope this was kind of a cool little server build. Oh, let me put the ca. Before I do that, let's put this back on because actually this cover is necessary to ensure the airflow doesn't just up and swoop out of the case. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed. Comment below if you want me to game on this thing.